SOLIDWORKS 2021 has a huge set of new features and performance enhancements. Let's take a closer look at some of them right now. When opening up assemblies from disk, either as resolved or in this case, I'm going to do lightweight. Either way, when you're doing that file open operation from disk, in SOLIDWORKS 2021, it's significantly faster than it was in 2020 in previous versions. And that's just, again, part of the ongoing improvement processes that SOLIDWORKS has in place in their development. So as I open up this assembly, which is about 2,400 parts, it comes up in about 20 seconds as a lightweight. Now, I like to use lightweight. Some people don't because they find it a little daunting because you have to, you know, take the lightweight components and resolve them manually, and they just don't really like to deal with that. Well, in 2021, you don't even have to worry about that because it does it automatically. If I go into an assembly and I want to open it up, I just open up its uh, fe its feature tree, and instead of getting a blank tree, I get all the stuff I expect because SOLIDWORKS 2021 dynamically and automatically resolves lightweight components, whether they're assemblies or parts, as I just select them and open up their uh, trees in the feature manager. So this is just automatically done for me. So it really encourages people to try to use lightweight because it just sort of starts lightweight and as you go, things resolve automatically. Configurations in SOLIDWORKS 2021 are also just faster, whether you're creating configurations or selecting one or the other, it just switches faster, just again, as part of the improvement uh, projects in SOLIDWORKS 2021. Performance evaluation has been around for a long time, and now in SOLIDWORKS 2021, we've added a new capability to it. We now have the ability to find those pesky circular references that sometimes creep into our designs. And now that does it show what files are involved, it also shows what the referencing features and entities are. So I can kind of look at this and see that I have a couple sets of holes in two parts that are referencing each other. And we have to figure that out and fix it. So let's go ahead and isolate the two parts that were listed in the circular feature detection. And I can see I got some holes kind of lined up in the inner and outer part. So, okay, well, let's look at the inner holes first. I can see in their position sketches uh, that we have a couple of them that have external relations. And okay, yeah, that looks like the centers of these inner holes are, are um, concentric with the outer hole geometry, which makes sense because I want the inner holes to move with the outer holes so they keep up and are always centered. So let's take a look at the outer holes and see what's going on there. And look at the holes in this outer part, and I can see that their centers are, their center on the inside holes center. So this can happen when you have multiple people working on different parts in the adjacent assembly and they both have the same great idea to make their holes uh, ride along with the adjacent holes. So I'm just going to go ahead and take out those relations on these outside holes and I'll dimension them directly to the, the, the part that they're in and then we'll let the inside holes have their relation uh, to the outside holes so they ride along and you'll see that little pesky uh, triangle goes away. We, we fixed that circular reference, so great. Now something else that uh, I wanna talk about in 2021 kind of builds on something we actually um, introduced a few years ago, which is the ability to defeature by silhouette. And just kind of refresh your memory how this works. I have an assembly, I take parts, I select them, and then I tell SOLIDWORKS how I want to defeature them. So to simplify them, you know, make basically um, start up um, a multi-body part that's going to have these shapes. And as I continue through and pick the items I want, I can be as as uh, coarse or as fine as I want to. So, for example, I could take that center uh, that center brush that has all the fins on the outside of the cylinder and tell Sawrix to make just a one bigger diameter cylinder representing that. Or I can take these. For cover pieces, I can tell SOLIDWORKS I want to just have a single piece, one body, forget the holes, and just show me that representation. So this is good for two uh, two workflows. One of them is to protect your intellectual property when you're sharing this information with people outside your company. You want them to have enough information for them to use your model, but not too much information. Uh, another uh, popular use of this um, or popular desired use of this is to make simplified versions of assemblies that have less um, overhead when you're you know, adding them to larger and larger top level assemblies. 
The new thing in SOLIDWORKS 2021 is that we can save this instead of a separate file, we can save this as a configuration of the assembly itself. And SOLIDWORKS will automatically save that configuration, give it a name, it'll call it, it'll call it uh, the featured basically, uh, does it automatically. So that way, it's all uniform. And where this comes into play is if you're using this to simplify your representation in upper level assemblies, um, basically, just go into the assembly, find your sub-assembly, and if it has a, a, a defeatured configuration, it'll just know it, and it'll say, okay, use defeatured. That's an option. I just do that, and after a couple of moments, it's going to swap out that fully featured version of the assembly with the defeatured version, but again, that defeatured version is in the same file. There's no swapping out files. Well, that's very, very handy, and a lot of people really like that. Last year in SOLIDWORKS 2020, we released the Enhanced Graphics Pipeline that was in beta in 2019 uh, to make an entirely different way to use your graphics card hardware much more efficiently when dealing with shaded 3D models. And to refresh your memory as to how this worked, I have the same exact software. I have basically the graphics pipeline turned on in the left and off on the right. And I ran a macro that basically just spun the model 100 times. Um, and then just waited for the results. And the macro would actually keep track of the frame rate as well as the overall time execution. And you can see that the new graphics pipeline really helps. And you actually have this now if you're running 2020, it's released and it's part of the, that release there. So what's new in 2021 is that we use the new graphics pipeline for hidden line removed 3D models as well. So you can see here the same macro. Again, we're using uh, the pipeline turned on in the left, off on the right. And you can see it's just an orders of magnitude difference in terms of performance on the same exact hardware, the same exact model. So that's some really nice enhancements in terms of uh, functionality there and using that graphics pipeline. Now, we're also smarter about shaded models as well. This is a slowed down version of what happens in full in real time, when you have a shaded model, it doesn't shade the, the parts you don't see until you spin them into view. And then once you let go, it'll go ahead and do that. Now, of course, in the production version, it does it really fast. This is just to show you what's really happening. So that's just some of what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2021. To find out more, go to www.gsc-3d.com today.